Tonight, entering the unknown investigate. The old boar's head in Middleton, Manchester, is a rare example of an early timber-framed building. The building dates back to the 1600s. The original building was commissioned by Sir Ralph Ashton, and was built on the road to Rochdale, part of the ancient highway between York and Chester. The location is between the rectory and St. Leonard's Church. The large photograph is dated about 1880. The blurred figure to the right of the door is either Sam Bamford's ghost or, perhaps a local who nipped in for a pint whilst the photograph was taken on long exposure. Behind the photograph, there is a boarded up door which was probably the back door to the original building. The metal window is rumored to be a cell that held prisoners awaiting trial in the sessions room. Dick Turpin and his horse Black Bess was rumored to have stayed at this inn. From 1788 to 1872, Sam Bamford was a famous local writer and radical thinker who led a band of neighbors to a parliamentary reform demonstration in 1819 that became known as the Peterloo Massacre. The inn is haunted by a number of spirits including that of a little boy that is said to have died up inside one of the chimneys. What will the team uncover tonight at this very old building? The team for tonight's investigation are Psychic Medium, Andrew Warrington Jones Lead Investigator, Dave Harazny Investigator and Camera Operator, Sean Helm And Guest Medium, Nick Humphreys David took the time to have a quick chat with the team's medium, Andy Jones uh, We're at the Old Bar's Head at Middleton, Manchester You've been here before, so what did you pick up last time you were here? Last time I was here, like I said, I came here not working, I came here for a meal with my partner uh, and I was sat there and I was approached by different spirits just giving messages. One of them was a lady showing me three coins in a hand. Uh, I couldn't see what the coins were, any dates or anything like that, but what I could see was two were very large and one yeah. was really small. Yeah. And she was tapping on the coins and I started with three coins. I started, so those coins must have been quite significant to her. And uh, she said about her sons roaming the building mm -hmm. as well. And I was picking up other things as well, so I spoke to Louise, who's the owner of the property in Asta, and she gave me a tour, which is quite good of her. So I spent like an hour or so here, yeah. just just walking around. And one of the locations, well, when, sorry, when I was down in the bar, I said, there's a, there's a room here you don't like, can you show me where it is? So she did it's upstairs, so she took me upstairs and to this door. So that's this one area? That this door, us. yeah. So I opened it and went in, and it's into a roof space, there's a lot of stuff up there. And at the back there's a male hiding. Now, as I went up the stairs, he's like, shh, 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 just tell me to shush and this, and he won't go away, and I think, oh, so I'm trying to find out what he's doing, why he's hiding. And all he kept saying is just go away, go away, go to the tunnel, go to the tunnel. So Louise was stood where you are, so I came down, said to Louise, is there a tunnel? And she just smiled at me, she said, do, do you want to see? So I went back downstairs to a location, went in there, and we the tunnel. Mm. Um, do you think that's linked to the church across the road then? Because we had a report that that's... I don't know if, if it's linked to the church, uh, but I do feel whether you used that tunnel wasn't good. Mm. Um, I feel like they might have been evading the law, yeah. you know, going through there to get away. Um, I feel the people who used that weren't that nice, right. you know. Um, and I also, they may not be from the area that might have visited it and used that, I don't know. But I don't know if it goes to the church or if it goes to another location. It's actually been bricked up now, right. but you can see where it was. Right. So you can't actually follow it and find right. out where it goes to. Is this gentleman behind this door, is he a negative spirit or is he just... Well, yeah, it's like anyone, if you're hiding and someone walks into your space where you're hiding, you're going to be like, you know, go away, sort of thing. So I was getting, I was getting like, he was, he was panicking, frustrated, scared. Um, I wasn't getting he was negative, but I was getting he could be a bit bit of an handful right. if he didn't right. yeah. back off sort of thing. So at the end of the day, I don't want to offend any spirit. Mm. Uh, if a spirit is scared and hiding, the last thing I want to do is make them f feel worse. Yeah. So I came away and then uh, went around the rest of the building. Right. So how many spirits do you, do you think is in this building? There's it? lots. But it's not just in the building, it's around the building as so well. Actually, as soon as you walk out of the building, it, there's this there's stuff going on around right. the building. Right. Uh, so there's absolutely stuff going on around the ground area yeah. as well, around yeah. the ground. Yeah. Like the parking area. And the parking area, the beer garden, <coughs> there's stuff going on around there. Um, there's stuff upstairs, we've got a lot of stuff upstairs, but I picked up more downstairs. 
Right, now, um, it's not always been a pub. Uh, I've not researched it, but the lady who's showing me the free coins mm -hmm. was basically telling me that she set up a business. Right. Uh, I couldn't figure out or get to the bottom what business she set up. And I think over the years it's been yeah. turned into yeah. a pub. Did you get an era with this lady? It was about 1700, something like that. But uh, right. she was quite nice, she wasn't negative, she wasn't. Um, she was quite sweet, quite right, you know, yeah, yeah. but it, it was like a proud moment, you know. Right, you know, and you show someone yeah. like, look, I've done with this, I only yeah. had that, and I've got this. Yeah. So she was quite nice, yeah. Could this lady Andy was picking up on be one that started a cotton business on the first floor? As history shows, before the building was an inn, it was two separate houses. Once the interview was over. A team member placed a Melmeter rem and a trigger object ball in the roof space area. The door was then shut and locked. The team started their investigation with the lights on. As the investigation started off in the room that was called the courthouse, the EMF sensor on the EDI device started to sound and flash. This is said to happen when a spirit comes in contact or close to an EM detector, as spirits are said to create their own EMF field. You also have to take into account natural EM background interference and mobile phones and Wi-Fi systems. Yeah, 
this device on the floor please. Move to this device on the floor for me please. The team then made their way down into the cellar. Um, bizarrely enough, you know when we first came down here, I saw yeah. someone in the corner and they, it's like they were on the floor, but they had their hand up and it was either tired or but it was there about, uh, over here. So, like like a prisoner, literally. Mm, like a prisoner. But yeah. Yeah, it's just, the, but it's not just one, I see a few. It's funny you said it, because when I came down there, I was picking up, it, it's chains, it's, it's yeah, chains. It's chains yeah, it's chains, yeah. I was picking up a few down there, and so, they've been really scruffy, really scraggy, uh, yeah. malnourished. There was a bit where me and Andy went off, um, and we were standing upstairs, and Andy said, what are, you, what are you getting in this area, just above the hatch? And I said, oh, I don't, know, don't quite know what, what I'm getting at the moment. Mm. And then all of a sudden, I saw a man being, he, he had the ripped clothes, like, he, like an old prisoner. And he had shackles on his feet and shackles on his hands. He was just being brought up the stairs, and that's that's the, that's what I'm getting here. The impression I'm getting here also. It's just that I keep, so see, he's, I keep he's seeing the only, them. So he's the only uh, ripped clothes in that as well. The one that the like they've been here now. for a while. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm seeing straw um, and stuff on the floor, but hey. 
I wouldn't be surprised if you can smell like um, a horrible smell, but um, but that's but I, I, as I walked around the corner, I saw a person like literally there, um, and then when I look further, I see I was along the wall. So yeah, do you feel like I want to go down there? You're right, with, um, yeah, headache. Headache. But as well with that, with also you saying want to go down? I want to go down as well. Even though we're down as low as yeah, yeah. To me, it feels like there's something underneath. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's just wondering me why this this new brickwork there is it part because the building is falling apart? Window. Probably a window. Was there a window there? This brickwork looks actually older than the this top there. Yeah, it is. It is. Right. It looks like yeah. there's a window at some point. Because yeah. there's windows over here as well. So. But the thing is, though, it's funny though because you, you kept referring to this as the dungeon. Right. It might have been like a cell. Yeah, let's go down to the dungeon, let's go down yeah. to the dungeon. And he didn't know that. So no. do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. and I feel, feel lost, sad. Uh, it's quite emotional. Um, <laughs> it's just someone trying to get very, very close to me, and I'm not mm. going to allow it. Is so, it a negative entity? Um, it's not, no, it's no. I wouldn't say it's negative. I just think it's uh, a soul that's been in turmoil. Mm. Yeah, they've they've been put through turmoil. Um, fuck off. So. Um, Uh, yeah, it's, I feel I feel parched. I feel like I've not had water or fluids for a long period of time. I feel dehydrated. I feel just very like tired, sleepy. Hmm. Back off. Um, is this is this the same person that maybe you've seen that's been tied up in the corner? Yeah, that's that's the energy that I'm trying to link to, and that's right. that's how I'm feeling. So because I think. I think they may have actually passed here. I don't think they even got, even got sentenced or whatever it is. I think mm. they they just literally passed. So really, they've been tied up and dumped down here and left. Yeah. I haven't got any pregnancies down here, have you? Well, there are women down here. Are you picking up? Pain in the gut. This male near you, Nick, the yeah. way he's showing himself to me, he's showing he's got his hands cupped. Mm -hmm. And he's coming towards you, his hands cupped. Yeah. It, it actually, you know, it's surprisingly strong, his energy. Um, How's that? my fucking phone just gone off. My fucking phone's just gone off. I started doing the investigation of the old boar's head in Milton. Why? I'm going to pass the camera over to you. That's two things that have happened down here with technology at the moment. As soon as you said he's strong, your phone went off. That's... Well, you can see my hands were nowhere near it. Yeah. So... And actually, you've got to open up the case in order for my yeah. phone to come on. Yeah. So... The male I'm seeing who's, who's stood in the unit, I'm seeing him... Um, the way I'm seeing him, late oh. 50s, early 60s. Right here, yep. Okay. I was asking you, when I looked at you, I saw someone just crawl across the back of the wall, just right. moving across no, I stood from left to right. I felt my ear being touched. Right, okay. <coughs> Did anybody get any doubts in bottom? Oh, man, upstairs. 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 <laughs> <laughs> An SP7 spirit box and a speaker if you want it. Are you on it? It's in there. It's in the bag. What's on the other end of this before it? <laughs> it's it's like it's <coughs> Major bit of chair? No, Major. Alright. It's chair, it's chair there. Yeah. It's chair with no seat. <laughs> Is it chair with no seat? No, no. No seated chair. 
Is everybody else feel alright? I'm cold here on one side. And it keeps smelling a wee. Yeah, now again, that's wee. strong. I've got a block now, so I can't smell it. You can stand here and smell it, keep coming that strong, do you? Your place would have stunk if someone was down there. It would have. Oh, yeah. Was well, it like, in fact, it's cold on my side. Right. It's a definite. I can't smell it. You can't smell it. It's on the other side, okay. It feels cold here. It's on this side. It's like stale piss. It is. Mm. You speak loud and clear. Oh, that was different a voice. No. Can you tell us your name? Did you escape this way? Did you come down here and escape that way? Did you escape this way? Did you come down here and escape that way? So is there a man and a woman down here? Were there a few of you together down here? Were there a few of you together down here? While all the team was down in the cell area, the locked off camera in the roof space, captured the trigger object ball illuminate several times. Am I, am I being silly or is that? No. Okay. So that's, that, that figure there is a ghost? Yeah, it's this one. This is the one that set the scene. The scene knocking about. I don't know whether it was done on long exposure. Mm. Right. Or... But yeah, everybody people else, say it's everybody else is solid, but him. Yeah. So, and in perspective, that's actually in further distance. Yeah. So he should still be in focus. Yeah, because if it was a long, if it was like they say, this would be blurred, wouldn't it? Because this is yeah. a moving object. And yeah. that's that one's clearly got like a horse. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you can clearly see the legs and it's yeah. just, it'd yeah. be blurred it, if it was. I mean, their face is a bit blurred, but then that's that's fine. But his isn't. So why are their faces blurred and why is he? That's a really interesting picture. Dave and Andy decided to go back down into the cell area below ground, while other team members stayed and investigated the many rooms in the building. When we came down last time and got the mail, it yeah. seems to be, he's still here. Is he still there? He's still he's in the same, he's same still, corner? He's still moving about. He's like, still in there, is he? He's about, he's round this back wall and he's still about. Um, again, this feels bigger, it should be bigger than what it is. Um, I'm in a location here in London, I can't remember the whole, I'm in another location, I was down in the basement area and was picking up on, uh, it's like military figures. Yeah, yeah. Getting yeah. people to, I'm not getting it as military, but I'm getting like people would have been rushed down here. Right. Um, I believe this would have been used as two purposes before. I'm getting the, the tunnels and I'm also getting them, so at some point, either before the tunnels or after the tunnels, this would have been used, I believe, as some sort of holding. Yeah. So, but also it would have been used as an escape as well. Right. Where they would have rushed down here and made off. You just put your torch on. Why is that? Your torch? Torch. It's my torch, yeah, it's my torch, I didn't touch it. Stick on a beam, see what we got. I think it lit up below the one you can't do. Yeah. Yeah, it did. If you affected that torch, can you do it again, please? Please affect that torch for us again. Can you set one of the devices off, please? Be the one on the beam or the one on the floor. Or touch the doll. Or light up one of the plastic balls. I'm still getting my like, um Summit further down. It's like I want to get a pickaxe and just set out the floor and yeah, the floor. Yeah. There's summit underneath this whether it is still or was underneath this floor, but there's summit underneath I want to get to. Um, Do you hear that taking noise in that corner? Yeah, I can hear that, yeah, I thought it was Dave moving. I'm gonna put a torch on. I think something that got his glasses in it again. It's all creaking. I'm looking to see if there's any water dripping through. There's not enough of pipes, is there? Just watch it. Can you touch one of the glasses in the corner, please? We all respect in the world, sorry, I just need to say it because what I'm getting, yeah. what I'm being shown, sorry, I'm being shown a glass being thrown. Right. Which I don't want any glasses being thrown at anyone. So if you do do that, we all respect in the world and we don't want anything thrown at us. Gentlemen, that's down here, we mean you all the respect in the world. Can you just make a noise to let us know that you're here? That tapping, what myself and Sean here, did it sound like it actually sound like someone's scraping that brick? Yeah. That's what it sounded like, someone's scraping that brick. It's upstairs, isn't it? Yeah, that's Nick, I think. That's the other team. Anyone see? I saw a light behind you then, Dave. Well, I thought I saw one behind you before, over there. I was trying to see if it's your torch it was on or not, but it's just a small light, round light. Yeah, I've just seen a light behind you. Now I looked at your torch on the beam then to see if that came on. I know 
if it came on quickly or not, but I saw a light behind you. Can you please show us a sign that you're here? Can you make a noise or make a, show a light? Or touch one of the trigger objects? Or the devices on the floor? Just to explain all the banging and creaking that some of the team members upstairs walking around. Glimpses of the light because I've just seen the light on the door on this yeah. Warwick wall here. Can you do something, please? We know respects in the world, love, peace, and respect. We've come down here to communicate with you, we're not here to mock. Can you please do something? Touch one of the devices, make a noise. The injuries I'm being shown are quite nasty. Um, the, this man and woman are quite sick individuals. Mm. They took the time. Mm -hmm. um, to begin with, he was, he, was, he was up for it. I don't think he knew what they had in store for him. Right. They sort of like tricked him into it in a sense. I think he was into what they were into. Yeah. And they sort of like led him into, and they've used him for, the light was behind Sean then. They've led him, and I think they've used him for some sort of. Sacrifice. I, I don't want to use the word sacrifice. Because it's, it's, if it's something to do with the black arts, I'm sure that the. the but I've, they've used they've used him for something. Now they've took the time. I'm seeing lights behind Sean. They've took the time with this this lad. Now this lad is in his twenties. The man and woman who committed this crime are older. I'm going to say forties. Yeah. How are you feeling short in that corner? A bit cold. It's like you're getting all the time down here and lights behind you, mate, on your on your left shoulder. Just left yeah, like left hand side. And the, the green, blue, just different colour lights behind you all the time. I think we should leave this area because I, yeah. I think it's taking a bit good. We're going to leave now, seeing that you can't be bothered to do anything. <coughs> Just watch yourself going up. I've got your cap on there, mate. Right. Okay. You've got your K2, yeah? Yeah, yeah. The team then went outside to investigate the surrounding grounds, of the ye old boar's head, as both mediums were picking up on different events and time periods. It's like where we stood now, what I'm seeing here now, it's like a, a, a forest fair coming through. A lot coming through. You right, Nick? Yeah, I just feel a bit sick. Sorry Andy, you carry on mate. No, it's mate. Um, We've seen a fur affair coming through, we've seen a lots coming through. Um, I've also been shown as well, and I don't know why I'm being shown a car, whether it's to do with the hangings, I'm being shown a car. We've mm -hmm. got his piled up on top. Lots coming through. Um, now the bodies I'm being shown, to me, they've been there for a while before they've been collected. And then you just chuck them up and then... Well, can you think of a date for that? Well, what's, what's getting me is though, why are they going that way? Mm. When, as far as where the church is over there. So would they not go towards the church? Why are they going that way? Whether they dispose of them down that way? I don't mm. know. Nick, are you feeling okay? No, I'm, just, I'm feeling sick. Um, is that because of the area you've just come into? Yeah. Um, and just to carry on with what Andy's saying, you're saying you see... you bodies on carts Piled. I'm seeing bodies in pits mm -hmm. so it's like I don't know if they were just dumped here or and just left um, I, I'm also getting plague as well 
Yeah. So if it's something to do with the, the plague epidemic. To be honest, and that's what I was thinking with you saying they're not taking them to the church. So, yeah. I don't know anything like, like but me, it sounds like, very plague wise. Yeah, it's, and it's not. It may not be here. It may be just beyond yeah. the trees. Yeah. So, I mean, those trees there are pretty young, but mm. I mean, the landscape here would, from what I, when I when I'm scanning around, would have been a lot different. Yeah. Um, of course, yeah. You know, back in that time. So I think this would have been open field with a bit of woodland and there's bodies buried within the woodland so it could be here it could, it could be you're saying hundreds of bodies are in this in this area it, there's just quite a few i wouldn't say i don't know if there's hundreds i could i can see as andy see on piles on carts or or what are mm. yeah carts um but also bodies just being just discarded mm. into a pit mm. so and i mean they used to do plague pits but i don't know if one's here but it's it's like it's, that. It's it, what it you're just feeling, it, it feels yeah. like yeah, yeah, and it's just making me feel sick. It's but like there's no there's no care to him. There's no they're not picking him up. You know, it's mm. like lobby, yeah. just throwing him in, just lobbying. And I'm seeing men, women. I'm seeing children. I'm seeing yeah. all all ages, and they're just lobbing him up, and then they're just coming up this way. And Nick's saying, I, I think I wasn't getting the pit, but I explains why they're going that way. Yeah, if yeah. That's what they're doing. They're going to go mm. and ditch him. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm also seeing, um, I'm being told that they, they, there was a house situated here and it would have been around the time of the plague and yeah, it, it would yeah. have had the, the, the white cross on it where they they boarded up the house. If you had plague, mm -hmm. they would have just boarded up the house and let you die in there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm being told that that was, so that was here. So I've, I'm being told it's in this, this vicinity. 1600s, 17, okay. Absolutely sure in this location, or are you talking over there? Are you? Okay. I'm just being told of. And this is, I'm questioning this because of the information I'm just being given. Mm -hmm. But it, I'm being told of uh, an army that would have walked past or walked this way um, to go to. Uh, I'm being told of the War of the Roses, but right. that's like Lancaster, which mm. is miles that way mm -hmm. so but there would have been an army that would have walked past it to it yeah, yeah. so I don't know if that's right but that's what I'm being because I'm being told I can see men in the the pointy yeah, silver yeah. hats yeah. and or hats helmets yeah. um, pikes uh, I can see horses going past but it looks like they're going past on the main near the main road yeah that's what we're yeah. in that's where I'm being pointed to so but I, that's something we need to find out because it's like I'm being told they, they were marching to battle Right. I can actually, so, when I was in the location with Louise, I, I picked up on military and Louise said, can you give me um, a date uh, of it? I said, well, to me, I'm going way, 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 way it's back. It's like 16, yeah, something like going that. Yeah, way, way, way yeah. back. So, and I also got something to do with that as well. I'm not going to go into it now, but something outside with them. Yeah, so, but that's that's in that direction. That's interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. that's something we can, something yeah. we can try and find out. Yeah. If, if there was an army that actually did go to battle or went to battle going past this location. That's your job, isn't it, Faye? You're yes. the historian. Yes. So the <laughs> Faye, Faye have to confirm that. It's yeah, date. yeah. No, no, it'd be interesting. I'd be intrigued. intrigued. So yeah, thank you for that. So yeah. Okay. What date did you, you get? You guys happy to move? No? About yes. 16, yeah. 16, yeah. 16, 16, 30, 16, 40. All right. You happy to move? Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm cold. While the team was outside, they met up with Nick's friend, David, who had also been wandering the grounds but was not in the same area where the team was filming. Well, there's quite a few bodies. Like they, uh -huh. I don't know. they all it? died of something. Like what? I don't know. They weren't killed, did you? Faye! Died. Oh, you got it on recorded? <laughs> they, they, right, I don't they, they died of it. Okay. So, as the gas plague or some mass disease. Okay. But they burned all the bodies in one fire. Man, okay. you, you got pit, you got pit though, didn't you? Well, because well, you could have thrown them in a pit and set fire to them, but you don't know, do you? So. Well, no, I picked, we both picked up on plague, picked up on a plague house, which yeah. was right across on it, and that was, I said that I was knocked down or burnt down, but it still had the people but in you, it. You both picked up on the plague. On the, and on the plague and the bodies. bodies. Yeah. yeah. 
but uh, and also the uh, and Dave just confirmed that because Dave was nowhere near as when no, we were doing the interview there. Also with me nipple on the burning on the seat. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Hmm? Good for you. Mm. Well done. Do, 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 do. Okay. How, How are you feeling here? Alright. All right. Can't get that smell out of my nose. Yeah. It's not burning. Burning flesh. That's what made me feel sick up there now. Yeah, just, I just yeah. can't get no, that. Oh, you got the smell of yeah, it, 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 it was the, it was the, the feeling of how they were feeling when they were, when they had whatever it was they had the plague, and also a smell. But I just I ignored the smell because it was like really tummy wrenching them. Mm. Mm. But so when they're going past on the car, it's like I said it, to me, it was like they were being left there for a while before yeah. getting them. Yeah. And they'd all just like decompose. Yeah, yeah. they would have been sat and rotting, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh yeah. They yeah, would break down pretty car. quick. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were brought here on a car. Mm. That's what yeah. made me think of staples. So <sighs> that's great. It's more good. Con yeah, well, it's information. Great clarification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, I just want to see if we can get clarification on the soldiers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, interesting. Before, so, yeah. Yeah. Good. But, um, yeah. Right, let's go back inside, guys. Wait for. A little later, the historian had some news for Nick and Andy on what they had picked up on outside with regards to the army of soldiers marching past. You know, be, you know before that when you were outside yeah. <coughs> and you picked up the sol you picked up soldiers. Yeah. Faye, mm -hmm. you mentioned something before, done, before the soldiers, about soldiers, yes. didn't you? Yeah. Do you want to come in and just tell the two what you got? <coughs> So you just want to pick? You just you want to tell them what you picked up? What you picked up on the history side of things? That, it was to do with the name. Uh, looks like the person who I lived here owned the property, uh, and this one was a supporter of Richard III. And the banner of Richard III in the War of the Roses was a boar. So it was called the Old Boar. It's only just been named the Old Boar, and like I think it was Victorian times they renamed it. So. Like, and then I googled like battles that were nearby. There was one in Stoke, and uh, quite nearby, like different ones, all like around Yorkshire and everything. Right. And it's quite possible that they could have walked past, walked past, or walked through, especially to Stoke. I mean, you go through and go down. Yeah. So, well, that's great. So that's that back to what you, you guys yeah. were picking up before yeah. Yeah. with the soldiers, uh, you know, walking past. Yeah. So. It's just clarified from people yeah, no, that's good to hear. on the history and you guys don't look into the history anyway. Absolutely not. Of any early location we go to. No. no. So Andy was once again drawn outside of the building and across the road with more interaction with various spirits telling him of things from past history. So I don't think we can get any further up to the church. I'm still seeing I'm in Bamboo. I mean I'm seeing I'm seeing like, uh, not, I don't know if say hooks or something, I'm, I'm seeing like uh, some sort of structure. Right. Now I'm wondering if this is going back, if this was a market town and up there was some sort of encampment or something right, like that, right, the yeah, troops yeah, were down yeah, there, yeah. the encampment was up there and that's why they didn't want you going up there and push it back down again. Um, Like I said, the way I'm seeing this is completely different now. Uh, so I'm seeing, I'm, I'm going really, I'm seeing like a wooden fence in a wooden boundary. Right. Um, fence type. Something that's happened up there, pretty brutal. Uh, That's Nick coming around. That's Nick, yeah, coming around. Yeah, it's looking pretty sure. brutal up there. Yeah. Um, right. And also going down. So you saying there was an accident up there or something else? No, it's not an accident, no. 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 no, no accident. I'm just getting other people. To me, it's like whatever's happened up there, people have wanted to get up there mm. to get. It's like. 
like if a member of your family was was hurt or killed, yeah, you'd yeah, do anything yeah, to get there, yeah, wouldn't you? And yeah, try yeah, and it, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm sort of like getting. I'm getting people rushing up there right. to try and get, and, and then they're just getting knocked back down again, and easy getting them at the bottom. Feels like a daunting task on it by trying to get up here. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite it's, a, it's quite a steep. This is how I'm seeing it. I'm not this, it. this isn't like this. This is why I'm saying this is all mud. Yeah. It's all mud and it's slippy. And it's it's purposely like that. Mm. You know, um, they made it so it made it a struggle to get up. So they had the higher ground so if anyone's gonna go up they have got yes, easy yeah, yeah. defence. And that's what I'm getting here and I'm getting the market town was down there, the market was down there. Something's happened and a lot of people have gone up there to try and and something's happened up there where a lot of them were killed. Right. So you're saying, is it, is, you're saying civilians have been killed up there? Yeah, civilians. Right. Yeah. It wasn't. They've been, they've, been called, they've been killed by the military. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's not. It wasn't. A, it wasn't a military on military. It wasn't a, a right um, a war as such, a battle as such. But it was people going up there to try and find out. I'm getting someone taken up. Someone's taken up for something up to there, and whether they're executed, I don't know. But everyone down here wasn't happy about it, and the, and the base is just out raw and rushed up. Mm. And when they got to the top, they were met with defence basically. Right. And the ones that weren't dealt with up there come back down and were dealt with down here. Right. right. Is. So it sounds like a bit of a bloodbath as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm getting mm. like I was stuck in the middle in a sense. Mm. Once they started the, the commitment going up, they'll be in a tap by up there and they've got leaves on the bottom as well, so they're stuck. So it's like, <laughs> the way I'm being told is, is <laughs> They'll committed. Yeah. They'll, they'll yeah. done anyway. Yeah. So they might as well just try and go forward and get as far as they could. And they didn't make it. Right. Um. Could Andy have been picking up on the Peterloo massacre, where 12 people were killed and over 200 seriously injured? Are you having somewhere where you want to go? I'm just, I'm just getting a name. Just trying to get. I'm trying to get it. I don't know if it's connected to what I'm picking up on, but I'm getting a gentleman tell me his name is John Whitemore. John Whitemore. Instead of Andy mentioning John Whitemore, could he have misheard the surname as John Whitworth as Andy always says when spirits talk to him? It's like tuning into a radio station. Our researchers found that there was a John Whitworth that lived in Middleton, and the team later discovered a grave with his name on. While looking up the history, the researchers also found this black and white picture, taken of the old boar's head showing the farm building to the right and the cottages, demolished in 1892. With the rain coming down heavier, and everyone feeling very cold, the team decided to call an end to the night's investigation. Until next time paranormal friends, keep believing.